Okay, so you can see that I have the dial indicator mounted. It's pretty snug, it's not going to move. Certainly the needle is going to move before any of the nuts and bolts that I have attaching it would move. You can see how I rigged it up on there with that bracket mounted directly to the head. Uh, it's actually, I think, in my opinion, it's a good way to hook it up because you have very short runs of steel, you have a very short bracket, uh, you don't have it on a stand out here. There's going to be very little flex. It's going to be very, very accurate with the least amount of, uh, of stretch and twist and flex that you can get out of your bracket that holds the, uh, the dial indicator. So now uh, you can see we're going we're gonna to move. Normally we don't move the crankshaft with the uh, degree wheel because that will spin the degree wheel out of or could spin the degree wheel out of sync but we haven't even set it perfectly yet so I'm not worried about it I'm just going to show you that when the piston comes up and touches the dial indicator that the needle is just barely going to move right there you can see it move as the piston contacts it down in the hole there and you don't need much you just need a little bit so enough so that you can uh, see where the piston actually stops pushing the needle so I can get in a real tight shot on that uh, right about there so you can see it come up it gets to about six thousandths of an inch and then it goes back almost six and then it goes back that's the piston coming out pushing stopping and going back in its reciprocating cycle pushing it, pushing back, pushing it, pushing back or pushing it and releasing so that's how you're going to read where top dead center is on your piston right where that needle stops and bottoms out at the top and then starts to come back that's your top dead center so we're going to get our degree wheel trued in and we're going to probably move it to the other side so that I can get at the stator um, while we're doing this. And we'll set our ignition timing. Alright, we'll continue.